Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to create a nice character overlapping text effect. It's kind of text effect and uh, I didn't have the time to really make and show to you guys but it's really probably very easy. So let's create a new document and I'm going to use a blue background for this one. So I think I'll make, I don't really have one so I'm going to create one here. Uh, let's select black to white for default. Let's set our center point. I'm using a radial, so let's take a blue, dark blue, and I'm going to set the other point to black. Click on new here to save that. Okay, press on okay. With my background layer, select radial as my gradient and drag straight into outward. There we go. Exactly what I'm looking for. And now what I'm going to do is add a text. So let's zoom in 100% here. Control 1 to do that. And switch to your text tool. Give a click. And I'm going to write in MAC. I'm going to write in MAC. And what I'm basically going to do is separate these texts from each other. So I'm going to write them in separate layers. So let's switch here and keep our text tool. Stay on the left. Okay, I'm going to write in A and then I'm going to write in C. Make sure you have them separate. You can just align them easily by selecting all. Just align them at the bottom. And just move in your C here a little bit on the right. Okay, what I'm going to do is write the A part gets in the M and the C goes in half, comes out from the A. I hope you know what I'm saying. So, like, say we are doing something like that, but it won't really be white at the points when they touch the places where they overlap so the best way to do this is first thing is I'm going to start with the A so let's control click on my thumbnail of M here let's zoom this big okay control click on your thumbnail here to select your M first let's move the A where it doesn't come twice there we go okay control M control click on your M's text here so you have this selection and now what I'm going to do is come to my mark you tool and just nudge that on the right side two times and a bit in the bottom okay once you have that done hold on your alt make sure you have your A layer selected text here because I'm going to make a modification of that not the M okay hold on your alt with your A here and just click on your mask icon here what it does is it doesn't show the selection you have the holding alt doesn't show the selection you are actually have it just shows the other part of the selection you didn't select so basically showed the other part so control click is it didn't show the part of the M and it just showed the remaining document which is the A now I'm going to do the same thing with the C so control click on my A and again with my marquee tool switch back to your C layer and just move twice on your right side and I'll click on your mask there you see that how this cool overlap effect is very simple and easy you could even make the C coming over the A by let's undo that or let's actually I'm going to group this by selecting all control click on both my layers or just shift in the last layer control G to group that I'm going to keep this on top here for to know what we're doing a change here I'm going to make another copy here what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this mask so right click delete mask and I'm going to actually overlap them vice versa so control click on my C come back to my A and I'm going to just switch back to my marquee tool move two times on the left once on the bottom and since we already have a mask on my A tool so I'm going to click on my mask layer and I'm going to fill it with black okay now you see that the M the A goes in the M and the A goes behind the C so the M and C is right in the top in the front okay anyone would really like I really like the top one here so I'm gonna make some modifications for that again now what we can do is add a nice text effect for that add some gradient 
maybe a nice M having a color I'm going to duplicate this gradient effect here hold on your alt roll over the FX just drag it above this and drag it above C okay I'm going to just add three different colors so let's say I take an orange and again modify that I'll take a red maybe maybe a purple no, that's not good I think a red's okay let's off this for now and bring this right in front you could do that many things you could do more is like control click on your M and I'm going to make a new layer right above the M let it be above the M and go back to my radial not radial basically and let's take a radial and I'm going to select white to transparency just click and drag in here there we go and I'm going to switch deselect that control D to deselect that and with this layer I'm going to use my arrow keys to move in once in and out just not not a lot just a slight bit and lower the opacity to around 50% you could do that with the A and the C I'm not going to do that with the A and the C I'm going to add some different type of shine effect here on top so make a new layer above my C and with my pen tool I'm just going to click and drag on this side here and now what I'm going to do is go back to my brush tool right click let's select a default brush and I'm going to lower the hardness up to zero make the size I think around two pixels will be fine that's a lot let's make it one okay and now go back to my pen tool right click stroke path and wait it won't work because if you do that you see both our points again are sharp without any soft edges similarly it doesn't work when you select a new brush so hit on f5 with your brush selected click on shape dynamics and make sure size jitter isn't 100 percent okay now let's go back to our pen tool with that new layer stroke path stimulate pressure okay right click delete path there we go a nice shine effect there on c you could duplicate that control j and I'm gonna bring it right below the C here there we go add another one and just give it a turn so it looks something different I'm just gonna rub off the edge at this point here there we go and just make those sharp there and let's add a shadow at the bottom here so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to zoom back a bit here and I'm going to keep this MAC right in the center of my document so control A click on your vertical and horizontal alignment here on top control D to deselect control 1 to zoom in 100% and I'm going to make a new layer right below this group so control click on your layer here to make a layer below by default if you just click on new layer it makes it right above you must be knowing that by now okay and now let's switch back to my brush again a default brush soft hardness and a size yep that's good lower the flow to around 50 to 60 percent and now I'm going to select black as my color just brush in a bit here three points and let's go to filter blur motion blur which blurs in your in an angle so let's select zero angle in degree and just move this around 250 I think it's good yeah that's good once you've done that let's just match this right in the bottom you can even lower the opacity if you want but I think it's kind of perfect and make it 80% is good once you have that done let's make a reflection for this MAC so to do that I'm going to duplicate this group right click duplicate ok and I'm going to control T to transform right click select flip vertical and click your enter key and then let's just nudge this down hold it shift and bring your arrow keys down 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 right below the shadow there okay once you have that done let's click on my mask layer once switch to your gradient tool right click black to white and let's make sure you have radial not radial selected make sure you have linear selected with your mask selected here let's click and drag once 
the other way around a bit more a bit more and control z make sure you're doing i'm doing control z i'm not applying that without doing that again okay i think that's good and let's lower this opacity here a bit somewhere around 40% is good there we go i hope that looks something you never done before <laughs> thank you for watching and make sure you visit my youtube channel for more i hope you learned something from this text overlapping effect there are many ways you could do that and i hope it sounded interesting thank you for watching 